Hi everyone, so we're about to continue on with our CCNA tutorials and in this one we're going to be viewing the MAC addresses on the switch and also on a PC. So we, what we're going to need is we're going to need a switch and we'll grab T, well, this 2950T and then device. Um, I'm doing this video on a laptop so I might as well use a laptop now. We're going to need is we're going to need a console, uh, not a cable, not a console cable. I made that mistake just before. And we're going to want a just a copper straight through, so on fast Ethernet one to fast Ethernet thirteen. Now we want to bring up the laptop. Sorry, just rushing through this part to get the setup done. And enter the IP address one dot three. 2.168.1.1 Now take quick note of that and enter those in your machine and as you can see once it closes it's fine and the switch is still waiting for a connection but what we'll do here is we'll just do a little bit of a ping of the 192.168.1.1 and as you can see We'll come back to that. Uh, but firstly, what I want to do is I want to get into the switch, go to the command line interface, and we'll start entering our command to set this up now. Just to follow through, um, by now you should have some basic understanding of the commands that I'm doing as these were covered in the last ones. But I'll stop when we get to anything new. Um, up now here I can't remember if we covered this before but we're going to enter into an interface of VLAN so virtual local area network one now from here we can do many things if um, question mark brings up all the list of commands now we want to set an into an IP address so we want to do IP now I know these commands and we'll just address because there are different options I believe 192.168.1.1 and 255.255.255.255 and now with this you've got to actually do the whole like the IP address and then the subnet mask just to make sure that you got everything secure and it's because computers don't think if they could think then I would be making these videos they would probably have wiped me out a long time ago so from here, no shutdown and end. Okay, so now we'll go back to the laptop. And as you can see, our original request has not worked. It's because we didn't have anything set up on the switch beforehand. Now, if we run the pin again, not ping again, and it's embarrassing me a little bit because I think it should be. Yeah. Yes, there we go. Took a little bit of time. And again, the first time can take a little bit longer than you would like, but once that's done, it's good. Now, we want to close this. Actually, no, we don't want to close this. We want to run IP config um, slash all. Sorry. Um, space. Now, if we look here, we can see the physical address. Now this is our MAC address as 00D0 um, BC B9 E203. <coughs> Sorry guys, I've got a bit of a cold recently. Now MAC address is a hexade like hexadecimal values and it uniquely identifies every computer on the earth, I believe, or particularly I believe it's everyone now. Over here, we've got little Windows calculator, and as most of you are probably used to it in this view, but we can do different views like a scientific calculator for difficult mathematics, and also a programming view. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to enter our little MAC address. So, we're going to do zero zero, which is zero zero. Um, now D zero. Um, B C 
B line, B to zero C. Now this is basically just nothing really important, but as we can see, we can convert these these hexadecimal values into other things and convert them into a decimal value. So this is just any number, like where you use where you use your calculator to an octet and to binary. Now, again, this is very important because binary is machine code. And as you can see, we can convert this stuff. Now, now we're just going to ignore the, that for now. Just wanted to show you what hexadecimals are and how they can correspond to certain things, well, in particularly our computer. Now, we're here in our little... Um, Privileged mode, I believe. Sorry, I'm just drawing a blank on the name. But what I want you to do is when you do show int VLAN 1, this is diagnosing it and just taking a look. So we can see the this the VLAN 1 has a MAC address of 00603E12CBEC. And now what I want to do is I just want to move on a little bit faster. Show ARP, which stands for Address Resolution Protocol. And if you notice anything odd here, so you can see that the hardware address for VLAN on oh, VLAN interface one is this. So this is this is the switch's MAC address. Now if you look down one, we've got this little one coming from well, it's, it's coming from the laptop because that's what we assign to, that's the IP address we assign to the laptop. And if we look over a bit, say, it says the age is three minutes and it's got our laptop's MAC address there, which is very important because it shows that we've got a connection to it. Now, if I were to run this command again, as you can see, the time's gone up one minute. That's because we've got everything, everything's working out and connection is still active and we can now do show MAC address table this is a little bit different this is just showing what is connected to our switch and as you can see it's got our MAC address so this is a computer that's connected it's a dynamic MAC address and all that and the ports and normally when I said dynamic MAC address are just a blank, but um, and it's got our connection port as FA013. Now I'm going to go over here quickly and just click on the laptop and delete it. And I'm going to go back into the switch and if we look here, we've seen stuff happen. And as you can see, we've got nothing in any of our tables. Now I'm sorry for this little bit of a long video, I'll try to cut them down a bit from now on, but uh, thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe.